guys, it's you and welcome back to episode number 57 of Pokemon Showdown Live, and, um, yeah, we're gonna be playing some OU this week, and I'm super excited to, uh, continue recording, uh, today's actually a Sunday, I spent all of yesterday on a bus going down to a basketball game, so, uh, we also played, like, the, an ESPNU top 100 player, which was pretty cool, but anyway, you guys aren't here for basketball, you guys are here for Pokemon, so before we jump into, uh, grabbing a battle we're gonna go ahead and look at the team real quick um this is just a mega gyarados hyper offense team that i threw together real quick because you know i haven't actually used mega gyarados in a really long time and i drafted it in the lba uh that video should either be going up today or it went up yesterday we'll see how things play out but anyway um, this team is obviously built around Mega Gyarados, uh, Waterfall Crunch, Ice Fang, and Dragon Dance. I'm running Jolly so I can outspeed other Gyarados and stuff, and all those shenanigans, and also Dragonite, a plus one. Um, and then we have Latias, who, uh, kind of makes it onto this team for Healing Wish support and Defog. Draco Meteor, Defog, Psy Shock, and Healing Wish, and it would not be a Geo team without Thunderous, Tampa Bay Thunderous, Reppin, uh, with, a Life, with a Life Orb, Thunderbolt, Focus Blast, Thunder Wave, and HP Ice Stand. Standard spread, uh, and then we also have the return of the god, the one and only Hazard Skarmory, uh, with Stealth Rock Spikes, Taunt, and Brave Bird. Um, this lets me speed tie Breloom this speed. Uh, it's also running max. <laughs> um, so yeah, hopefully that'll let me get some hazards up and pressure the other team. And then we have the Great Hazard Prevention Core, Hazard Removal Prevention. That's a mouthful. Core. Uh, which is a Gengar plus Bisharp, and I have Thunderbolt on Gengar this time around to specifically pressure Mandibuzz and Skarmory a little bit better, and, um, you know, I don't think Gengar needs much explaining, and then we also have Bisharp right here, who I have changed from a Soul Vest to Black Glasses for better damage output, and due to the fact that I'm running three Dark-type moves, so... Anyway, knock off Sucker Punch, Iron Head, and Pursuit, so let, it, let us jump straight into it right here, and uh, hopefully we can find a match relatively quickly, and we do. And we are already like three minutes, two and a half minutes into the video, so I apologize about that. But uh, looking at this guy's team, it's also pretty standard. Um, I feel like this is sub pass Megalopony. Because it just makes sense with the fact that it, he can get an SD up with Bisharp and all that stuff. But either way, I'm going to go ahead and lead Skarmory right here because um, the sooner I get my rocks up, the better. Uh, yes, I, I am running two rocks weak, rocks, weeks, rock, rocks, weak mons uh, without a uh, spinner. Sorry about that. Um, I, I don't know why I got so tongue-tied right there, but I did. Also, if my mic is a little quieter, I'm trying to edit it to make it louder. But my dog did actually chew on like the end of the the end of my microphone, which is a little bit un unfortunate. Um, so it makes it a little bit harder to hear me. So I will lower the background music and uh, crank up my voice. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my rocks up here versus this thunderous as he just t-bolts me. And you know maybe he thinks I'll be like Custap Scarm. I really want Custap Berry back, guys. I really really want it because. It would make doing this so much easier because then I would get rocks and a layer of spikes, which would be very, very cool. Uh, as he just goes for the HP ice, making sure I don't get a free switch and a lottie, which is fine. Um, I think right here, though, I'm going to go straight out into my Latios because um, I can Draco right here if I want to. I can also go on into my Thunderous to try to win a speed tie, but I don't think it's worth it at this point in the game. Um, because I would kind of like Thunderous for later if if I can, because it does let me T-Wave Megalopunny if that is a thing that presents itself as an opportunity. Anyway, I'm clicking Draco right here. Um, if he wants to go into Buy Sharp and try to Pursuit Trap me, that's fine. Um, it's not necessarily something I like, but it's something that I may just have to deal with. Um, it gives me the opportunity to go into my own Buy Sharp as he ends up going into Azumar right here. So, um... I kind of want to go into Gyarados on the play rough, but I also want to go into Gengar. I'm going to go into Gengar, um, because I don't, like, even though I was willing to go into Latias right there on the Thunderous, I don't want to risk anything. Yeah, he is Belly Drum, so he was sub-pass. Um, this is unfortunate. This is really unfortunate. Um, I'm going to go back out into, no, Latias can take a hit. Uh, I'm gonna go for the sludge wave right here just in case he like 
misclicks or something and doesn't have aqua jet or doesn't go for the aqua jet uh gengar actually does uh, like gengar doesn't do an amazing amount of work it's better against like balance and stuff but you know it's okay um i think right here i'm going to go straight at into latios latios was that the play no the play i think is going to be thunderous um because once i get a zoomer out of the way and i weaken megalopunny i think i can sweep and I, I need to get like these three members weakened or out of the way and then I can sweep them with Gyarados because uh, they do have Ice Fang over like EQ or anything because I wanted to hit Breloom anyway um, right here I think I'm going to go ahead and Latias because Latias is the next most most expendable member of my team and also Gyarados my Gyarados can't really touch this Azumarill so I kind of got to hope that this Psy Shot kills uh, I'll be pretty disappointed if it doesn't um, but I could also see why it would not um, anyway, so we'll see what he decides to do right here. I'm assuming he's just going to go for the Aqua Jet, get off like 60 some percent. No, he goes for the player. Miss, miss, miss. Okay. <laughs> was kind of hoping to start the week off with some hacks, but it wasn't in the cards. Um, I think I got to hope water. I, I think waterfall will kill from this range. Um, I'm not going to mega evolve. I don't think because, um, if he goes for actually no i outspeed him anyway so it doesn't matter i would rather take the power now and uh, not have intimidate later because that could potentially save me versus by sharp if that's a scenario that does present itself um but i think i lost this one pretty poorly you know but uh, i should have just stayed in with latias the first time but i didn't and i just take him out with the waterfall so we'll see what he decides to go into right here and uh adjust accordingly as they would say um, this episode has been kind of weird so far just because, like, at the beginning I knew he was, like, sub past low punny, and I should have just stayed in and psy shocked, but I didn't, and that was kind of a misplay on my part. But I'm gonna go into Thunderous right here. Actually, I'm gonna go into Buy Sharp. I don't really have any reason to risk going into, uh,. I don't really have any reason to risk going into Thunderous and letting it get, like, knocked out by, like, a crit frustration or anything. Um, so he's going to end up just going for the fake out, which is fine. Um, and I'm going to go for the Iron Head. I kind of have to hope he misses a high jump kick at this point. Um, no, he doesn't. So, you know, that's fine. I can't expect the hacks like that. Um, maybe he doesn't have T-Wave on this. Maybe he's, like, four attacks or three attacks taunt. I don't know. I, I'm just trying to find, like, some redeeming quality right here. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go for the T-Wave. Uh, I think his best play is just going out into, um, Latios right here. Because, yeah, he ends up making a play into Latios, which is fine. Uh, because I can just click HP Ice and kind of hope that he gets paired. Or that he clicks Draco right here and weakens himself. And I get some miracle sweep off on his team. But I don't think either of those are going to happen. But it's okay. Uh, kicking off the week. Uh, we'll probably take an L. But it's fine. He goes for the Draco. And uh, I'm going to go straight out of my Gyarados right here. And I think my only play is the Dragon Dance. Just because I do need the speed for the rest of his team. Um, but, you know, it's okay. Um, you win some, you lose some. That's just how it's going to be when you're playing hyper offense. And we actually do have time to grab another match after this. So hopefully we can redeem ourselves and we don't start 0-2 this week. Um, it'd be amazing if he gets, like, paired twice and doesn't have T-Wave. I think that's the only way I can actually win. And I think even then he could just switch around with Fake Out and stuff. Um, so there's one para. I'm Dragon Dancing again. I don't care. <laughs> um, I could try to like crunch right here and uh, catch him on the switch if he tries to go out into Thunderous um, but miss or get paired no neither it's fine uh, I, I wasn't really realistically gonna win this game anyway uh, I kind of want to dragon dance again <laughs> just because I can but uh, I think that would be a little bit of an ill-advised play because I do have like 800 attack right now and uh, that is going to easily knock out Latias uh, but we'll see what he decides to go out into right here. I'm assuming it's just going to be Thunderous. It could also be Low Punny if he wants to fake out, which is um, a pretty safe switch on his part. Ends up being Thunderous. Um, so, you know, maybe he, like, accidentally clicks T-Bolt and then isn't allowed to cancel because showdown lag. That would be pretty cool. Um, but, you know, at this point, I'm not too broken up over losing this one. I'll probably get full paired. No, no mind. I don't. 
Uh, so I Mega Gyarados was able to turn that from a 6-0 into a 3-0. I'll take that. <laughs> I know that's totally the wrong mentality to have because it's like, oh wow, you just pretty. What what if he misses? He like goes for the fake out. It doesn't kill, or he like goes for the high jump kick because he can and he misses. That'd be pretty cool. But um, come on, can, can you just like kill me already? I mean, you you could have gone for the return. You lost absolutely nothing by doing so. Um, but anyway, hopefully uh, our luck will be a little bit better in the second match, and uh, we can go ahead. Come on, kill me. Okay, we're we're gonna look for a match right here. And uh, we've already said GG, so we are not obligated to stick around for that match. And uh, we have another one versus Captain Hundy. I'm throwing Hundies. Hundies. A A Hundies. Hundies. A A Hundies. A Hundies. A A. Come on. Show it on. Get it together. Anyway, this looks like a pretty cool uh, team right here. Probably this to trap steals. These two to take advantage of the said trapping of the steels. I'm going to go ahead and lead with my Skarmory right here. I thought about running Steeling on Skarmory. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Because it's really nice to just donk Mega D and see whenever it comes in. Uh, but he ends up leading Magnezone, which is fine. He's Air Balloon. So he is in for a shock. So I will be able to get um, a Stealth Rock. Uh, that, that one little pebble. And then I will be able to get a spike up as well, and that will help me actually a lot versus his team. Um, as long as I don't get parrot, I don't. That's sick. Um, and then I can just go into Gengar and knock him out with the Focus Blast, if uh, that is what. If my Gengar ju does choose to connect on the Focus Blast, that's kind of a big if. Um, but anyway, I get um, two layers of hazards up, which is nice. Um... And now, come, wait, wait, what is more important to me, Thunderous or Gengar? I'm fairly certain Thunderous is more important to me. Because it T wave, because it T waves this if it's Scarf. It has HP Ice for that. It hits that hard. Actually, it doesn't hit that harder, but it has Focus Blast for that. Well, like, I don't know. Uh, Thunderous is more important for me because I can T-Wave Contrary Superior. If it does get to that point, I'm hoping it doesn't, but it very well could. Um, I also realized I have zero Mega Deancey switch-ins. I don't know what I was thinking, but <laughs> that, that's what kind of ha- Well, like, I'm playing Hyper Offense, so clearly I don't have switch-ins in anything. But as long as I hit this Focus Blast, I should be okay. But, you know, as soon as I say that, it's like, well, you have, like- Focus Blast's accuracy just went from 70% to 30%, so I wouldn't be too surprised if I end up missing this one. Um, but I end up hitting, and Magnezone is gone, which is nice, seeing as I have one more Steel type. That doesn't really appreciate being trapped, but really isn't hurt that much by Magnezone. So, you know, um, I'm kind of expecting he goes into Bi Sharp right here, which is not a problem. Um, I'm going to click Focus Blast right here, kind of predicting the Pursuit. Um generally because I can <laughs> um, if he suckers that's fine I, I probably should have switched out but it's okay because uh, I'm just gonna go straight into Gyarados right here and I'm going to mega evolve and I don't really fear anything this by sharp is gonna go for I resist both of his stabs I and it's basically a matter of do I want a waterfall or do I want to uh, crunch or, I mean, do I want a Waterfall or do I want a Dragon Dance? I think I'm going to Waterfall right here, just because if he is low kick by Sharp, I get 6-0'd. Um, yeah, I get 6-0'd by low kick by Sharp. I get 6-0'd by Mega Deancey. Um, anyway, Waterfall is not going to come close to taking him out as he goes for the knockoff, meaning that he probably doesn't have the move in question. Um, but I'm just going to Waterfall again because I don't think I lose a whole lot by it. This will knock him out. Mega Gyarados, frankly... I don't like it as much when it's jolly, um, and I know anybody watching my, watching this right now who's in the LBA is going to be like, okay, when I play Geo, expect Adam and Gyarados, but it's like, Jolly Gear is really, really weak. Um, I just don't like it as much because of its f frailty, I would say. Um, but anyway, I'm going into Latias right here because um, I can just go ahead and Draco, whatever comes in, I think. Um, or do I have to Psy- I think I have to Psy Shock, to be honest. Um, just because he ends up going for the Secret Sword. It's not a problem. I I'm I, I think I have to Psy Shock right here because I need the damage on Mega DNC if it does come in. Because it'll be like a solid 35, 40, 45%-ish. It'll be in that ballpark. Um, 
And that damage is always nice on a pretty threading setup sweeper, especially if he is rock polish. Um, but if he goes out into buy sharp right here, I really could care less as he does end up making the switch out into buy sharp. Because I'm just going to go out into my own buy sharp right here. Um, because as much as I would like to say buy sharp just 6 0s his team, it totally doesn't. Um, and I have a Skype message down here and I cut. Okay, so now he's going to prove the same. <laughs> um, that kind of sucks. But I'm just going to go out into my own buy sharp right here. I am adamant. Uh, I'm just going to go straight away for the knockoff. So it's a little unfortunate that one had to happen right there. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock off here. I'm going to sucker versus Keldeo if Keldeo comes in. Um, if he goes into Garchomp, I'm going to click sucker. Yeah, so he just ends up suckering doing 33%. And the reason I clicked knockoff is because I really didn't want to risk the fact that he could be faster and I would end up taking 66% as opposed to 33. Uh, and I knew he wouldn't have low kick because he revealed pursuit because you have sucker knockoff and then your move. Anyway, he goes into superior right here. Um, I'm gonna go for the knockoff. Uh, I don't think he can kill me with a leaf storm. If he has HP fire, he may be able to kill me, probably will. So I'm at 67%. I'm a buy sharp and I don't have AV this time around. But um, he ends up going for the sub, so it's. I, I'm really glad I went for the knockoff right there because uh, I can just continue to click it. And he probably is Leaf Storm, Giga Drain, Dragon Pulse. He may be HP Fire, which, you know, um, hitting the Lotties is, must be nice. Um, he ends up going for the Leaf Storm right there, and I, I am able to tank that easily, so he seemingly sacks Superior for no reason at all. It's also Wide Lens. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I need to find like a good OU team that works for me that isn't my Mega Deancey team, because like my Mega Deancey team is great and I love laddering with it, but it just gets like really, really stale when recording with it. Will Sucker kill Keldia from this range? Uh, he has to go, for, no, he can go for Scald, so I have to click Sucker right here, actually. Um, if I kill his Keldeo, I may be able to win. And I am adamant, I do have Black Glasses. Um, ugh, that was disappointing. Uh, as he goes for the Secret Sword, so I could have doubled the Thundee if I really did feel like it. But, you know, wasn't necessarily in the cards. And, uh, right here, I'm going to go for the HP Ice. Actually, he actually has zero reason to switch out right here. Um, because he'll just get like rocked by um Gyarados if I do get a DD up which I don't think he wants to happen um I don't think he wants that to happen so uh anyway I'm just gonna go for the T-Bolt right there if he does go into DNC I think my only play is to click T-Bolt and hope that I can get like a good damage roll and hope that he's CM although I feel like Rock Polish DNC is a lot more popular and I can see why because it it is very 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 good versus offense um in the fat in the sense that it's like it just actually tears offense apart um, but I'm going to go for the T-Bolt right here. Hopefully he's like minus, he's probably minus Spadef. And like, if he's Rock Polish, I, I just lose. If he is, uh, goes for the Protect, okay. Um, so I, I'd imagine he's not set up Dual Stab. I'd imagine he's just going to take this not very well. I really need him to miss his whatever Rock movie goes for. Because I can live a Moonblast, without a question. Um, he may be HP Fire. If he's Dual Stab HP Fire, that'd be pretty neat. Um, or I just kill him. Okay. If he's if he was... He wasn't Scarf Keldeo. Um, if he's not running a Scarfer, I win. And, you know, it's pretty possible that he's not running a Scarfer. Because um, this could potentially be Rocks, or Bi Sharp could be Rocks. Um, so I'm just going to go for the HP Ice right here. If he goes for the Outrage, I think I've lost. Um, or if he goes for the Stone Edge and hits, I think I've lost. Um, goes for the Outrage, so there it is. I have indeed lost. Actually, no. If I live an Outrage, which is doubtful, <laughs> but if I live an Outrage, I can kill him with an Ice Fang. And Mega Gyarados actually is pretty bulky. Um, I'm at 71%. I can do this. Watch me live and then miss the uh, Ice Fang. That, that, would, that would be a thing that would happen to me. Um... But anyway, I'm glad I have Ice Fang on this. I lived. And I kill. Alright, so that is actually a very good game. Uh, how much HP am I at? I'm at 2 HP. 
that was a very good game. So, uh, the first game wasn't great, but I thought the second game was pretty good. So, if you guys did enjoy this episode, please make sure to leave a like. It really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, which is, um, what are your, what is your guys' experiences with, um, Mega Gyarados so far this gen? Uh, do you have any cool moves or sets you've been running on it? Because, like, you know, I'm very open to suggestions because I want to, like, shake things up in the LBA. And, uh, and with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.